Hey YouTube, Tactical Tell Me here. Let's talk about how we can start our retirement savings when we're in our 20s. The first thing I'm gonna tell you to go out and do is to make sure you find yourself some kind of coin to use as a reminder and keep you focused on what's important. It doesn't really matter the coin. It could be a family heirloom or something that you already have. You don't necessarily need to go out and buy yourself a silver eagle. It's just something to keep you focused about what the goal is and what you're trying to work to accomplish. The next thing is we need to make sure, the number one thing is before we can actually focus on our retirement savings, we need to make sure we're actually getting out of debt. Getting out of debt is such a crucial part of growing our retirement savings because I'm not gonna have funds to buy this beautiful gold eagle if I'm simply spending all my money on debt service payments. That can be your car. Probably the biggest thing is going to be your student loans. If you have student loans out there or if you have your credit card, gosh, credit cards are the worst because credit cards have such high interest rates, you're going to be getting zapped and you're not gonna be able to stack as aggressively as you would might want to. You're also not gonna have the extra funds to start your 401k. So if you have those credit cards out there, you have to make sure you're paying off those credit cards and trying to get it so that you can pay them off every single month. For some people, they just can't have that in their pocket and they have to give up credit cards cold turkey. You can't use them at all. For some people, that's gonna be the only way that they're gonna learn how to manage their credit cards is not to manage them, cut them up and not have them. So. Number one, get out of debt. Number two, you gotta grow that emergency fund. There's no sense in stacking all this beautiful gold and silver if when your washer and dryer breaks or your car breaks down on the side of the road, you're having to go out and sell a 10th ounce or a quarter ounce gold eagle that you've worked so hard to save up. There's no point in saving in gold and silver if you can't pay for those small everyday expenses that are gonna come up because life expenses are gonna come up. What I would recommend and what a lot of financial advisors will recommend is that you actually save up that three to six month expenses for yourself and have that in a separate savings account. I know I've talked about this channel before about how important it is to have a separate savings account to build up your funds for stacking. Well. Another use for that second savings account is going to be to make sure that you have those emergency funds just in case an emergency comes up because life will throw you curveballs and life will throw you emergencies. Number one, getting out of debt. Number two, growing that emergency fund. The third thing, the thing you've been, all been waiting for, and that is to begin investing. Now, I find that most people, when they're starting off, they start off investing in silver and that's just a fantastic way to get you started in investment because it's such a low entry point it's only thirty dollars thereabouts to get you in the door and it can be as small as five to seven dollars to actually buy a small mercury dime and get you in the door and start investing that is one of the best things because all those little tiny purchases will add up now, sure, there are some downsides to starting with silver. The higher premiums and those kinds of things do add up over time. And if you don't watch that, just like if you don't watch your expenses when it comes to your stock and brokerage accounts, those things add up and they will kill you in the long run. So I highly, highly encourage you to watch those premiums as you go along. And as you go along and as you grow as an investor, you will probably start to branch out and you will start to look at other options like gold eagles and ways to bring down your premiums. Typically that's going to be moving away from the smaller fractionals and moving more towards larger gold sizes and moving away from buying singular gold and silver coins and moving into trying to stack tubes of gold and silver coins. That is the investment strategy. We have to make sure that we're starting to invest as soon as we can once we have that emergency fund in place and once we've got a plan at least for paying off all our debt. Now, do I recommend that all of your funds go into gold and silver? No, I do not. I recommend that we take a reasonable approach. We continue to stack, but we also 
continue to put into our 401ks. Within our 401ks, typically a more aggressive stock portfolio is gonna be best, especially when you're on the younger age side. It's okay to have the volatility of stocks. We're gonna have time to continue dollar cost averaging into our positions, and that those drops in market value are actually gonna be opportunities for us to buy. Just like when we see a drop in the silver price and we view that as an opportunity to buy more ounces per month on our given investment, we should view that same thing when it comes to stocks and our retirement account. Now, we wanna have that diversification. So making sure you're putting away a certain amount going into your stock portfolio, specifically within your 401k or tax advantage accounts, wherever you're at and everywhere is going to have some kind of retirement savings that's going to be a tax advantage where you're going to get some tax breaks on it. When you're younger or making less money, that's typically going to be when I'd push you towards the Roth options if you're here in the U.S. Those Roth options are going to be fantastic when you're in those lower tax brackets because you can go ahead and take care of paying all those taxes up front and not have to worry about paying those taxes in the future. Now, I know y'all all want to focus more on gold and silver, but first, take care of your retirement savings, take care of your tax advantage accounts, and then really start stacking those gold and silver eagles. Eagles are always the first place that I'll tell you to start. I almost always recommend people stack a tube of silver eagles before they go into anything else. Then the next thing I typically would say is, to look at your gold eagles, maybe starting with a 10th ounce size and moving up from there. Now, obviously we're gold and silver bugs. We love a bit of variety and you have to take that into account. You see these beautiful lunar series 10th ounce coins and Perth mint kangaroos down at the bottom. I also will splash in some lunar series silver along the way because having collections and having a little bit of a hobby is something that can encourage you. Like at the beginning of that video when I encouraged you to put a coin in your pocket to remind you about what you're focused on and what you're trying to get to. Well, I encourage you to keep that same idea and make sure that you're not losing sight of what you're trying to accomplish. And Retirement's so far away, that's why gold and silver can be such a great thing, is because you can actually see it and you can see and feel the coins and enjoy them. You're not having to wait until you're so much older to see the fruits of your labor. You can actually see the fruits of your labor stacking up. As a review, make sure you're getting out of debt, you're growing your emergency fund to three to six months of expenses, then you start investing a portion maybe into silver, into gold, and making sure that you're taking care of your retirement accounts and your 401k. If you like this video, feel free to drop a comment down below and let me know that you liked it, as well as be sure to subscribe here on Tactical Timmy for more gold and silver related content. Take care.